Hi guys, Micah Fights with Friends here. It's been an incredibly busy a week once again in the world of mixed martial arts and combat sports. And this is official now. Everybody has agreed it is scheduled. Uh, Ryzen 14 Floyd Mayweather Jr. will compete on New Year's Eve in Japan against kickboxing sensation uh, Tenshin Nasakawa. Uh, now, this could be smart for Ryzen uh, in a lot of ways, and I think this is likely to be a win-win scenario for both promotions, uh, speaking as uh, Floyd Mayweather as his own promotion, Team Money. Um, it's a great tune-up fight for Floyd Mayweather. He's not going to agree to any rules that include anything other than boxing. And he's not going to say that yet because he wants to get people excited. Uh, this is a New Year's event. I'm excited about it. I was going to watch it anyways. I am excited about it. Let's talk about uh, Tenshin Nasakawa for a minute here, though. Um he just turned 20 years old in August. He's 27 or no with 20 knockouts. Uh, he's highly regarded as a very competent kickboxer and one of the top kickboxers um, in Asia. Uh, in Japan, certainly. Uh, he's also 4 0 in mixed martial arts with two knockouts and a submission. Now, let's talk about the opposition that he has faced, though. Uh, many of those 27 bouts, uh, from what I have seen, uh, I would say well over half have been strictly exhibitions. Uh, his last uh, fight I watched him in uh, was Ryzen was Ryzen 12 or 13. I want to say it was 12. I did a fight companion on it. Uh, the gentleman he was fighting, uh, it he was a mixed martial artist, but it was a kickboxing rules fight, and it was his kickboxing debut. Uh, so the fighter that he was going against, uh, who gave him uh, a pretty decent fight uh, for a few rounds there, uh, had never fought under kickboxing rules. Uh, to fight somebody that's 26, and I know we're in a different time, of combat sports now, but to someone making their debut, uh, fighting somebody at 26 and 0, I mean, that's about as ridiculous as Conor McGregor fighting, fighting Floyd Mayweather in boxing. Not, not maybe as ridiculous. Uh, but, and I thought Conor did very well for the experience he has. Uh, obviously, there's been arguments as to what effort Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather put into that bout. Uh, only those two know the truth of what actually happened on that night. Uh, this is this is a different situation we're talking about here. Uh, I am very excited because Ryzen's going to be getting a ton of attention, a ton of notoriety. This is their chance uh, to get into the American eye and become as big as Pride again, or close to as big as as Pride was, and get that attention. They do not have the talent there right now that Pride had, not even close. Um, back in the day, Pride uh, competed with, if not exceeded, the talent of the UFC, um, as demonstrated when they had a Pride versus UFC event years back, and Chuck Waddell traveled uh, to Japan and was taken out by... Quentin Rampage Jackson uh, before the UFC bought over Pride. Uh, Ryzen doesn't have that level of competition yet. Uh, they have some older fighters that go back and forth. One thing that's going to benefit them is Scott Coker has agreed that he's going to allow fighters to go back and forth and fight in Ryzen and, and Bellator. Uh, I think that might be a good long-term plan for Bellator. Uh, and from Scott Coker, as long as fighters don't get injured, uh, they don't have to choose either one. Uh, he may be able to cherry pick some more people from the UFC, uh, especially good fighters that aren't that aren't great. They're not in those top three or five in the UFC uh, as far as popularity rankings and earnings. 
and they are trying to make a little more money, possibly by fighting overseas. The UFC is not going to allow fighters to go over to Ryzen and fight in their, you know, in their spare time in between fights. So, uh, you can guarantee that Floyd is getting paid for this. Now, I have not seen any financial numbers as to how much Floyd uh, is making. Uh, I've seen people throw out the money, the number uh, that they believe he'll probably be making $100 million. Uh, I find that number in mixed martial arts highly unbelievable. Highly unbelievable. And I don't know what the tax structure uh, of this will be. I know Japan's tax structure is highly favorable compared to the United States. Um, you think we're a capitalist uh, system. Uh, they, Their tax rates are, are lower, uh, much more of a, a straight capitalist system uh, than we are. And I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay much tax and I would imagine that the deal is somewhere in between 25 and 50 million dollars because at the end of the night this is a tune-up fight for Floyd Mayweather Jr. for his fight against Matt Pacquiao. Uh, it's also a very important advertisement for Floyd Mayweather Jr. If Floyd Mayweather Jr. didn't get paid a dime or if he got paid very little uh, I believe this is still a valuable bout for Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh, he's going to get, for one thing, he's exposed to hundreds of millions of fans in Japan. Uh, he gets to wet his feet uh, in mixed martial arts. Uh, American fly-by -fi fan fans, you know, people that act like they know about fighting that really don't, you're casuals. Uh, they're not really going to pay attention to the fact that this was a boxing match. And I'm pretty much going to guarantee you, I would bet a lot of my, that's what this is going to be, is a strict boxing match. That He's not going to allow attention Nasukawa to kick him. Absolutely no way. And it's going to be a boxing match against a guy that fights at 121 pounds. For the first time in a long time, Floyd Mayweather Jr. is going to be the bigger man and the much bigger man. Uh, I really don't see him probably getting below 140. I don't think he's going to want to cut below 140 because he's not going to want to screw up his uh, physical structure uh, that much before a fight with Pacquiao. So I... I see this fight happening at 140, which is going to make Tension fight at 20 pounds above uh, his weight. He just turned 20 years old. He's a kickboxer, not a boxer. Uh, the one danger that I see in Floyd Mayweather as he's getting older is the speed and the pressure of Tension Nasakawa. Uh, he could overwhelm him at times. He could get, you know, he could get him in the corner with combinations uh, and possibly overwhelm him at times. I don't expect Floyd Mayweather Jr. to have a ton of problems with him, though, because uh, tension, he makes a lot of mistakes. And he gets away with it for one thing because uh, I'm gonna just going to throw it out there. Like I said, the level of competition has allowed him uh, to be sloppy at times. And I don't judge him very strictly on that because, like I said, he just turned 20 years old. Uh, the kid is an incredibly talented prospect, and I'm not trying to criticize him. But his level of competition for that main fight, it's, not, it's been very subpar at best. Uh, he's done more kicks than boxing. Uh, I don't think his hands are that dangerous. He misses a lot. Uh, he throws a lot of wide punches, and I just think Floyd Mayweather Jr. He's, is going to pick him apart. Uh, like I said, he could maybe catch Mayweather in some flurries, but I, I really don't think so. Unless Floyd is really comes in out of shape, and Father Time has really, you know, done a number uh, on Floyd, I I don't expect him having much of an issue uh, fighting tension. Uh, I think he could make it a little bit exciting. Uh, he may, you know, uh, defend over in the corner, cover up in the corner as tension's throwing some exciting 
combinations that are going to get the crowd excited and they're going to get people rousing to their feet. But uh, Floyd Mayweather, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen before the fight happens. This is what I believe. Uh, he's just going to be standing in the corner. He's going to be covering up and blocking those shots. Uh, do and until there's something wide enough for him to dodge uh, to create counters. And Floyd Mayweather Jr., he's probably going to get uh, his first knockout that he's had in quite some time. Uh, for one, like I said, because uh, of the huge size difference in these two. And Floyd Mayweather, is he's a much bigger man. Uh, he's fought, I believe, last at 147. Uh, like I said, Tension fought at 121. Uh, and then knockouts tend to come with people that throw wide, crazy punches and get themselves in... Uh, you know, uncomfortable positions, uh, compromising positions, off-balance positions. Uh, the hardest punch you're ever going to get a hit by with a counterpuncher is a punch you're moving into. And I can see him timing tension uh, coming in. Uh, you can bet he's going to watch some tapes and things on tensions. And there's a lot of things to pick apart, and especially if you're going to pick them apart as a boxer. And at 20 years old, there should be. Nothing wrong, like I said, with Tenshin Nakasawa, or Nasakawa. Uh, there should be at 20 years old. Uh, he is an amazing prospect at 20 years old. I can just imagine what he's going to be like at 25 uh, if he continues uh, to progress. But he's nowhere near uh, the level of boxer that Floyd Mayweather Jr. is. And I think Floyd is really, I think he's going to put on a show I think he's going to want to impress the Japanese crowd. Um, I think he's going to be more motivated and inclined to put on a show than he did against than he was against Connor. Uh, because, for one thing, I think Connor pushed him around and bullied him a little bit. I, I really do believe that uh, Connor was able to body up on him. Uh, he gets that much from MMA even though MMA boxing is much different than typical Western boxing. Um, uh, I Floyd, is he's just going to be able to push tension around. He's going to be able to get him in the positions that he wants to. Tension puts himself in a lot of compromising positions. Uh, like I said, he was hit a lot in his last fight against a guy in his kickboxing debut. Uh, he, a lot. Uh, it, it was a competitive bout for a lot of the fight. And this, like I said, I'm sure it's going to be a boxing match. Huge for Ryzen, though. If they pay, I say if they pay $50 million or under for this, it's a bargain. It's an absolute steal. Because the notoriety that they are already getting. I mean, there's articles, ESPN, Sure Dog. Uh, MMAfighting.com, all of the biggest sports sites in combat sports fights are announcing this. Uh, and we still have, it. this is the perfect amount of time to hype this. Seven weeks before the fight, people don't have time to get tired of it, but there's plenty of time to build excitement. Uh, if you weren't planning on joining me on New Year's Eve, I hope you are now. Um, uh, for this bout, it's, it's going to be at a strange time. I know because it's in Japan, uh, but I do plan on, uh, doing this. It's a Sunday night, Monday morning. Uh, it'll be Monday morning over here. It, it'll be strange, but, uh, it'll be fun. And the only other big name you could say, if you could want to say big name, uh, to sign on to this card for Ryzen 14 that that is a for sure go, he's already scheduled, is Darren Krugshank. And nobody's buying a card for Darren Krugshank. He's a good fighter, but nobody comes to see an event for Darren Krugshank. Uh, Vanderlei Silva said that he wanted to fight on this card. Uh, he's not signed as of this moment. Of course, he just fought against Quentin Rampage. Uh, he did get knocked out. I don't think that's going to make a whole lot of difference. Uh, for Vanderlei, and I think he's likely to end up do, uh, to end up fighting on that. Uh, interestingly enough, 
uh, somebody that's been calling him out and say that he says that he wants to fight him. He's a much smaller fighter that he's had some controversy with. Uh, no stranger uh, to this show, uh, felony Charles Bennett. Uh, and I don't know if I don't know if they could come to a catch weight there because Vanderlei just fought at heavyweight. Uh, so that seems seems unlikely unless they're going to do some kind of old school open weight fight class. Uh, it'd be very favorable for Vanderlei and you know felony gets paid. So it, it's possible. Uh, but I want to know what you guys think about Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh, sort of coming into the MMA realm or the kickboxing realm. Uh, do you think I'm wrong? Do you think it's possible that he does end up fighting uh, tension with in the kickboxing rules or with some kicks um, inside there like he had talked about fighting Conor McGregor in MMA with some kind of modified rules? Uh, I would love to see that. I think that makes it a much more entertaining bout. I think it makes it very, very dangerous for Floyd Mayweather Jr., though. So I think it's highly unlikely. But I want to know what you guys think. Um, let me know down there in the comments below. Uh, I will respond as I see them come in. Um, as always, I love you. I respect you. And I'll see your fine asses later.